2019. Two things will be happening. This guy will be turning 53 young years of age and Nvidia is gonna be releasing a brand new video card to the market. That's right, the rumors are obviously true because there are people out there selling this card. So it is true, there will be a GTX 1660 and there'll be a couple of varieties. There'll be the TI version and the standard version and it's rumored that there'll even be a three gigabyte version. Now why anybody really be releasing a three gigabyte version at this time in the game I don't know maybe somebody's got an older monitor or an older system they just don't really need a high-end video card but here's what it's looking like it's looking like we're gonna see prices at 279 for the TI version and about 229 for the non TI version of these cards now what's really the difference between these cards and the RTX 2060 well let's talk about that real quick the GeForce RTX 2060 FE features a TU-106 chipset. Now here you guys can see a picture of the TU-116-400 and there's also rumored to be a TU-116-300. Now the differences that we're seeing as far as CUDA cores go on the 2060 we're seeing 1920. It's rumored that on the 6 gigabyte version of the 1660 Ti we're going to see 1536. And on the standard version, we're going to see 1280, and we're also going to see 1280 on the 3 gigabyte version. Now, you have to take into account that these are rumored things. Now, the only thing I think that really does suggest, though, that these are going to be actual facts is that these products are for sale in systems by certain you know manufacturers out there who build custom systems. So that kind of like lends credence to the fact that these cards are coming. Now, one thing about the 1660 series in general, it's not going to feature any of the Tensor cores or RT cores. So there's not gonna be any RTX support whatsoever. However, you are going to see faster shading through the 12 nanometer design process. Now, as far as the texture units go, on the RTX 2060 FE, we see there are 120 texture units. On the 1660 Ti 6 gigabyte version, there's 96. On the standard six gigabyte version, there's room to be 80, and on the three gigabyte versions, 80 as well. Now the base clock of the RTX 2060 FE is 1365 megahertz. Now something that's kind of interesting is that the GTX 1660 Ti six gigabyte version is rumored to be 1500 megahertz at its base clock. And what's even stranger is that on the standard GTX 1660, we're seeing 1530 megahertz as the base clock. And this is also seen on the three gigabyte version as well. Now, as far as the GPU boost goes, on the RTX 2060 FE, we see 1680 megahertz. Now on the GTX 1660 Ti 6 gigabyte version, this is 1770 megahertz. And it actually jumps up 15 megahertz on both the standard version and the three gigabyte version. Now across the board, all of these cards feature a 192 bit memory interface. The memory clocks, however, are different. The 2060 has 7,000 megahertz, the TI 6,000 megahertz, the standard version and the three gigabyte version are both at 4,000 megahertz. Also, none of the 1660 cards have any ROPs whatsoever. Those are strictly for the RTX card. So, like I said, there's rumors that these cards are coming and I believe these rumors are going to be true because like I said, there are places out there selling these things and people don't want to really be selling stuff and have people returning it saying, hey, you lied on these specifications. And ASUS has a lot of different models it looks like that are gonna be coming out. Now, my whole thing is this though. Three gigabyte version? I mean, is there really any reason for that whatsoever? It really doesn't seem like there is. I mean, you would have figured they would have gone with a four and an eight, I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird as far as the memory configurations go, but we'll see how it does in the market. I guess if you really do have an older system, you've got a smaller monitor, and you're not gonna be doing things at high resolution, maybe a card that's 229 bucks that does speed up everything else you're doing really quickly could be a great you know, benefit for them. Now. 
how this is really going to affect AMD, we'll have to see. I mean, I'm kind of pondering right now if AMD is even going to be able to compete with NVIDIA at all in 2019. At this moment in time, I'm just really not quite sure. It looks like on the video you know, card side of things, it's probably just going to be a lot of the same. NVIDIA will be toppling the towers and AMD will just be slightly behind them. But there you go, folks. It looks like we're going to see new cards in that lower price range from NVIDIA. 279 for the TI, 229 for the standard version. Um, who knows what the three gigabyte version is? Maybe that's when it's going to be $229. I guess we'll just actually have to see when they actually get released on the market. My birthday is February 22nd, and that's when these cards are rumored to come out. So hopefully, you know, I'll have one for my birthday present out there. You know, wink, wink. Wink, 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 wink. Well, I've linked all these stories down below. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Hey, if you're not sub, please do so. We also have a Patreon site, so if you want to support us, it only costs you only a mere $2 a month to help keep the channel going. I love you folks. God bless you. We'll see you guys back on the channel for more tech tomorrow. Peace.